to everybody. It's take two of the Brownwood Lions <laughs> Coach Show here on KOXE. I'm Derek Stuckley along with Brownwood Lions head football coach, athletic director, Sammy Burnett, who forgot to turn on the mic before the show started. No, don't blame me for that. People don't know, but the behind the scenes are always special. But we, this is take two because today is your birthday. You turned 48 and you're falling into the same category as I am and forgetting everything. So you forgot the mic. So we yeah. tried it again. Yeah. But all that happens, you know, it's just part of it, man. Everything starts falling apart. You're 48 years old, man. That's a lot of years. And we understand that you're going to forget things, but happy birthday. Well, son. thank you. We were like two or three minutes into the best show we've ever done. Yes, it was. <laughs> and somebody forgot the microphone. But anyway, we're back. Spring break is over. We're back to a normal schedule. But first of all, let's kind of talk about your break. You took a few days off, got out of town, got to relax a little I did. We took three days and went to Wimberley, Texas, which I've never been to. I've been all around it, but never been there. But uh I found a little RV park down there that was brand new. It was extremely nice. Uh, got Tatum came in from college, and Layton and, and Kathleen and I got to go spend a couple of days. I fell into the world of pickleball. Oh, really? So we've been out playing pickleball with the girls, so that was fun to do. But How'd was, you do it, pickleball? I actually enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. It's sort of like a stand-up ping pong mm -hmm. and not have to chase the ball so far like tennis. But I did have a great time doing that. We actually played yesterday at the house, so it was fun. But uh, it was good good to get away, nice to be with the girls and get to mess around with them and watch Layton tumble and, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it was good. It was a good three days. Yeah, it's good to get away, recharge your batteries a little bit. Uh, speaking of getting away, well, there wasn't a whole lot of getting away last week. We still had plenty of stuff going on. Yeah, I did have a lot of stuff going on. We had soccer, uh, which the boys finished their season successful again. Great way to finish their season, one, two straight. Uh, the girls were victorious as well against Little, Little River Academy. Uh, they'll be heading into the playoffs. Uh, we worked on that during the break, uh, reached out to several places, but finally locked in uh, Mineral Wells on the 26th, Tuesday the 26th at 4.30. It'll be a doubleheader. Uh, our girls will play Waxahachie Life girls, and then Waxahachie Life boys will play Lampasas boys at, uh, at uh, Mineral Wells. So congratulations, Coach Mosqueda, uh, Walker, and the girls and them advancing to the state playoffs. Uh, baseball, right spot right now. I mean, they've gotten on a run, uh, won the first three district games, beating uh, uh, what I thought was a pretty good Randall Wells team, had a really good pitcher, uh, and then beat Graham, and then turned around and beat Steveville 3-2 to two the other night at home. So congratulations to Coach Sanford and the baseball team. Uh, the more they win, uh, the more they believe they can win, the more consistent they'll be, have an opportunity to, to uh, play Glen Rose on Friday uh, at home and have a chance to go the first of three rounds undefeated, which is a big deal. Uh, so congratulations to those boys and, and Coach Sanford and what they're doing. Uh, but it's big to, to be up 3-0 in the district right now. Uh, track meet at Graham was canceled on Saturday. They got started but uh, had a big storm come through. Uh, there was a little gap, but they knew that they had another big storm coming through, so they wind up canceling that, so uh, they came home early. Uh, softball was victorious against Gatesville during the break, so congratulations to them. They'll kick off uh, their district play uh, tomorrow at Glen Rose starting at 5 o'clock, so best of luck to Coach Munguia and the girls as they kick off their district run, so that's a big deal. Yeah, I got to see the softball game Tuesday. That may have been the best they've played all season. Uh, has good pitching, defense, they had the big one error, and timely hitting, so just at the right time. Definitely, that, definitely. You know, the boys got hot here in the district, and the girls get starting to get hot hopefully right now, see if we can stack games on games and see hopefully they'll be successful on Tuesday. Baseball will host uh, Gatesville on Tuesday. Not a district game, but another opportunity to, to get some people in and to get some pitching, some, maybe some more work from some of the other guys that maybe not have got as many reps, uh, but an opportunity for them to just keep sharpening their skills and get ready for that Friday matchup against Glenwood. Seven in a row and giving up seven runs in seven games. It's awesome. With four shutouts, and that's that's going to win you a lot of games. It is. You know, uh, we talked about the depth of the pitching, and, and we got great depth. I mean, you can go through a tournament and and walk through it the way they did in the, the last term to end. I think they outscored their opponents sixteen to two. Uh, it's a big deal, and it all starts with pitching, pitching timely, hitting, and great defense. I think defense still wins ball games. High school baseball, the the, the team that can keep from giving up the big inning the one that's going to be successful. You know, you chop those seven innings up into seven little ball games. You try to win every inning 
our tire rating. So uh, uh, they're off to a great start. So real, real proud of that. And, and you know, hopefully softball is going to be in the same boat. So uh, them getting that win the other night, it was big, or the other day, it was big for them. So best of luck to them. As they, like I said, as they start their district run, golf I was moved from Wednesday to Tuesday. So our boys' golf team will go to Glen Rose and play over there on Tuesday. Uh, be Argyle will be in that tournament to the private school for uh, Dallas that I think Coach Jones was, was talking about. So some opponents there that we can go measure ourselves. I think we're getting to the end of uh, stock show season, which is big for several of our golfers. Uh, so with them being back and maybe being done with that, they'll have more opportunity to get out there and, and be consistent. You know, they went over to Kingsland and played in the this, this state qualifier and shot a 291, which is the best we've shot since I've been here. Uh, which was good, but learn, they kind of learned to follow that up and, and double those days. You know, next week they go to district uh, <clears throat> on, I guess, Monday and Tuesday uh, in Abilene, and it's a tough course. They'll play Diamondback, but uh, the key to that is being consistent. I think we're by far the best team in district, uh, but you still got to go out there and be consistent and play well on day one and turn around and back it up with great play on day two. Yeah, mention that state preview. They were in first place after yes. the first day. and that's a big deal. I mean, Everybody in our region, as we talked about, is extremely strong. Uh, there's going to be teams that don't get out of the region uh, that could go to the state tournament in place. Uh, so it's going to be it, – it's just got to be the consistent thing and you show up and play. You know, you've got to stack two days together and make sure that you minimize your mistakes. It's, it's the same thing. You know, you look at you look at golf, you look at baseball or softball, it's it's 18 holes. It's one day, but you got to break those 18 holes up and try to win as many holes as you can you have a bad hole, you can't carry that on to the next hole and worry about missing a putt or missing a shot. you got to block it out and go win the next hole. So uh, we got a great group of leaders. Uh, you know, with Sir Jones and Hudson Reagan, I think they do a good job of, of leading that group. You know, Caleb Modewell does a – he's a very consistent golfer. Kobe Walker, uh, uh, Will Stewartson, and, and uh, Peyton Sharp. I mean, it's just a little great group of golfers. So hopefully they uh, do well in district and just gain the confidence they need to – Get to that regional tournament and, and be successful. But first, they got to take care of things in district. You don't take care of things there, you don't get out. So, uh, best of luck to them. Got a lot of things going on for sure. Yeah. And not to look too far ahead, but a very busy weekend coming up, especially Friday. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we started the Blue Bonnets on Thursday. Uh, I reach out. We've had some people had to back out. If anybody's out there that wants to help us on Thursday, Thursday is a big day for us. We have a small school division, which is about 20 something schools. Uh, we've lost some people that, that help. If you're wanting to help, you know, call the athletic office, get in touch with Lisa. She'll get some information, and, and we can get that to Coach Jackson. And, and if anybody's willing and wants to volunteer on Thursday, I think we're okay Friday with workers. Uh, but on Thursday, we're going to need some help, you know, whether it's raking a pit or chasing a shot or a disc or something. It's not, not much involved. You don't have to have a bunch of knowledge to do it. We have judges. We just need people to assist. So if you're interested in doing that, please reach out to Lisa Hossel at the Athletic Office at 646-0703. And, and if you want to volunteer, we'll give you a cap and a shirt. And we'd love to have you out there. But uh, we have a lot of schools on Thursday, uh, about nine schools on Friday, which is a smaller meet, uh, working on some things in the future to change the date of the Blue Bonnets. You know, next year we're not going to be able to host because of the construction going on at the stadium, but we're going to try to align our schedule to where we don't run at the same time that San Angelo Relays run. Uh, if we can do that, we're going to gain a lot of Midland, Odessa, Abilene, San Angelo, Lubbock schools coming. So our big school division will be as strong as our small school division. So that's things to look for in the future. But uh, we have a strong meet. Coach Jackson does a great job of organizing that. Uh, I mean, just a, re a relentless worker. I mean, he's going to make sure it's done right. And, and the Blue Bonnets are back where we want them to be because of what he's doing. So uh, very appreciative of him and what he's doing. But uh, it takes, a, you know, a village in order to run that thing off. So you're interested in helping again, we'd sure love to help. And, you know, Coach, uh, back to Coach Dolly, do a great job of uh, helping out, getting some kids out there to help break pits and all that. And they're going to do the best they can to get some kids out to help us. So, again, I think we're going to be a little short. So if you're willing to help, please, you know, stop by and visit and see if we can get you on board. Yeah, track's not the only thing we got Friday. Well, Friday we got the big school blue bonnets. We got softball versus mineral wells at home. We got Brownwood versus uh, Glen Rose at home. Again, the uh, baseball team will try to go 4-0 uh, and for the first round. Remember, they play three rounds. And then softball will hopefully have an opportunity to go 2-0. and So, uh, uh, like I said, a lot of things going on. Uh, soccer's winding down. And then uh, we still got baseball, softball, track, 
we've got state powerlifting coming up too. So. And then Saturday, uh, we've got the rescheduled James Crow baseball alumni game. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Saturday, they had cold weather. Yeah, it was it's real cold. Yep. Yeah. So they're going to give that another try Saturday. Are you going to be out there for the home run derby? I think I, since I've hit senior citizen status, I don't know that I'm going to participate. I, my body, my mind still says you can do it, but I don't know if my body will follow. I'd like to see. What you'd you like do? to see me try? Yeah. Well, I, one thing I will, I'll pay your I'll, entry I'll, fee I'll, just to see you try. I will brag just a minute. Last time I swung a bat was in a softball competition against the coaches, against the players at Farmersville, and I realized when I they hit a ball, they outfield, I was playing center field like I used to, I went to chase the ball, and when I went to look up 40, it was all fuzzy because I had glasses on. Mm-hmm. Never played with glasses, so I had to take them off to, to do anything, but I did hit a, hit a walk-off grand slam to, to win that sucker. And that so, was when you were in Farmers Bank? Yeah. That was How long ago was it? <laughs> about eight, eight, nine years ago, so that, like I said, that was the last attempt I made. I think I may hang up the cleats on the grand, walk-off grand slam, and it was only 200 feet with a softball slow pitch, but hey, it home counts. a home run. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, everybody come out Saturday if you got a chance for that. That's always a big event. Uh, anything else we need to mention? <laughs> Just Denny Hamlin, that's it. That's all we're going to say. <laughs> My Kyle won fifth. Kyle Larson was fifth. Kyle Bush was like... 25th, 27th. I don't know much about this. She doesn't keep track of it, of course. Line. You know, it's funny, me and Star are in the NASCAR, <laughs> everybody knows, but it's funny how many people have come up to me and talk to me about NASCAR because Star and I talk about it on the radio show, which is pretty neat. But uh, it was a different day at Bristol yesterday. They were having tire problems, uh, tires wearing out too early. They had to give them an extra set of tires. Uh, uh, Goodyear had to, but it's always my guy that's the example. He's in second place and has a tire go out and, and drops all the way back to the back and then just one problem after another, and it was just a miserable day for me again. And Star has the bragging rights, but one of these days, <laughs> I'm going to beat her. One of these days, I'm going to beat her. I, we were winning. I was beating her guy, and at that point, I didn't care. I just wanted to beat Kyle Larson with Kyle Bush, and then <laughs> Kyle Larson goes in the pits and uh, changes his tires, so he's two laps down. By the time it all sorted out and everybody else beat it, he was in fifth, and I was still in like 18th. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. We we changed Craig. Kyle Bush has changed uh, pit crews like three times. They're horrible. Got, got driving out of the pits, one of his tires fall off. I mean, it's, if it's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> so. It's okay. I was supposed to go to a wedding yesterday. My tires didn't cooperate with me. Really? Either, so. What happened? Yeah, well, one of them, you know, pulled out. Ooh, that's not yeah. fun. Yeah, so. Never fun. Yeah. So. so that was your NASCAR that's report, I, I hate to say. Yeah. That was my NASCAR report. No. I barely, I barely got out of town going no. to a wedding. Anyway, well, anything else I we need? I thought you had something to finally add to our story. Yes, right? yes. Even you're going to have to. Tires. Yeah, I can relate to flat tires. <laughs> At some That's point, it. you're going to have to watch it and just see what it's all about. Uh, I haven't so far, so I'm doing a pretty good job of avoiding <laughs> it. Anything <laughs> else we need to mention today? Yes, we need to mention those sponsors that make this happen. Autoglass Magic, Burner Auto Group, Syntex Body Bank, Syntex Equipment Sales, Citizens National Bank, Dan Hill Container, Dr. Bond Young. Dr. Pepper Bottling Company, Everett Jones Investments, Henrik Medical, Howard Enterprises, Sun Competes, Heartland Fuel Home, Landmark Admin, MC Bank, Painter Johnson Associates, Smith & Sharp Agencies, Sonic Drive-In, Stanley Chrysler, Texas Bank, Weldon Wilson Electric, Western Bank, and Willis Tees. All right. We will be back here Wednesday on the Brownwood Lions Coaches Show on KOXC, <laughs> KOXC.com, and the KOXC app. Have a great day, Brownwood. <laughs>